nested styles are part of paragraph styles. The nested styles feature allows you to apply character styles to portions of paragraph styles based on the structure of those paragraphs. So with something like this, which is a page out of one of my recent books, The Business of E-Publishing, I can easily style things like these caption slugs. So here, as you can see on the paragraph style, this line at the top is the caption slug. Well, what if I want to offset the figure number within the slug? What if I want to make the figure number a different color than the title, the rest of the slug? Now, I could manually do that. I could just highlight this and go to my character panel and choose key color 50% or something else and change that color. I'm going to undo that. But that's really tedious across a 14 chapter book. Instead, I'm going to let InDesign automatically style those for me. So let me switch back to the black arrow here and we'll move around a bit and maybe we'll zoom in just a little bit. Move this up here. Now, I'm going to edit the slug paragraph style. When I go down to drop caps and nested styles, you can see this middle section here is nested styles. I'm going to create a new nested style. And as you can see, that creates a new nested style entry. The first option I have to choose is my character style. You must have character styles defined for the nested style. And that has to be done before coming in to edit the paragraph style. So here are all of my character styles. Let's say I want that figure number again to be key color 50%. That's a 50% tint of the key color. Next, I have to decide what's going to get that. This is starting from the beginning of the paragraph. And it's going to apply this style from the beginning all the way through something. So here it's through one word. And if I leave it at that, you can see figure has now colored. If I pull down this menu, you can see that you can do it through one sentence. You can make an entire sentence a different color. I can do through X number of words or X number of characters, letters, digits, tab characters, forced line break or manual line break, indent to here characters, and all sorts of other options. In this case, I don't want to actually do it through just one word. I want it to go up to the colon. I want the word figure, the chapter number, the period, the figure number, and the colon to all be differently colored than the rest of the slug. So I'm going to leave the nested style at that character style. And your options are through or up to. Through means it colors or applies the character style to whatever the marker is, as well as everything before it. Up to only applies the character style up to the marker, but not to the marker itself, not to the delineating mark, which in this case is still set at one word. In the one field, you can type another number. It could be through the next three words, next four words, whatever you need. But here, I don't want any of these symbols. In fact, I want it to go all the way through the colon. So I'm simply going to type colon. And when I click away from that field, you can see it now applies this character style to everything from the beginning of the sentence through the colon. That's how you do the basics of nested styles.